The bottom line, more of your tax money is going to be pumped into getting people licensed for medical marijuana. 1,000 new applications are submitted every day. The state health department can't keep up. Target 13 investigative reporter Tack Landrock going undercover to show you how easy it is to get approved for medical pot. Well, Eric, if you have cash and some time, you too can get your hands on medical marijuana. Many times you don't even need to have any medical proof, just some aches and pains. How you doing? Doing good. 145? Yeah. Okay. What you're watching is a hidden camera investigation. So it's like a, probably like a four and a half a gram haze anyway. On how easy and quickly it is to get certificates needed to get medical marijuana. There's, this is the sample of the skunk weed. This transaction is legal, and all it took was a signature from a doctor and some of our cash. Our journey into the world of medical marijuana started here at a plain looking building just outside of Denver. Can I take this? Go ahead and fill it out. It's three okay. pages. The lobby sits right next to a Panera bread and is full of people waiting to see a doctor, even this person in scrubs. And were you able to have some medical records? Our undercover producer took this one sheet medical record as proof of a knee injury he got a year ago. Kind of like if you were to take like a string and like pluck it. The medical record from a year ago shows he is only to take ibuprofen to relieve his pain. He tells the doctor who he is seeing for the first time that he has not tried any other prescription medication and did not want to try physical therapy. It just hurts while I'm doing stuff. The doctor never examines or even touches our producer's knee, only asking a series of questions. How, how's your uh, health up otherwise? Otherwise, I feel pretty good. But you haven't been back to see... Uh... See anybody? Is that the case? No. Okay. Have you tried marijuana for the problem, or None. no? I haven't. Less than ten minutes later. Are you having that much pain? I, I guess. I mean, obviously, you must feel like you are. Yeah. You wouldn't be here. Yeah. We got the signature needed to get medical marijuana. Thank you very much for voting. In 2000, Colorado passed a medical marijuana amendment, allowing people with severe medical needs to get marijuana to soothe their pain. Under the amendment, those with cancer, glaucoma, AIDS, or HIV are allowed to smoke the medical marijuana. And if you have a severe or debilitating disease, you are also allowed relief from pain if a doctor feels marijuana is a remedy. We're told that we can get the medical marijuana that day. They all deliver and everything. It's a whole neat system. The employee shows us a list of caregivers he works with. And if we use one of his medical marijuana providers, we will get a cash discount on our visit. He gets a cash kickback from the marijuana grower. It's going to take six months before you get your license. Okay. But we're going to give you copies of that that you can use today. With this application, we're told we can go to any dispensary to get medical marijuana. The reason we can get it immediately, we're told, is because the state can't keep up with all the license applications it's getting for medical marijuana under Amendment 20, applications that are supposed to be approved within 30 days. We are uh, processing them as quickly as we can. Ron Hyman, the director for licensing, has asked the state for more tax money to hire 20 new employees to help with the backlog. That dates back to January. Right now, if you send it in today, we anticipate it's going to be between six and seven months for us to do the turnaround. His office is getting a thousand a day. Compare that to the four thousand applications it got in the entire year of 2008. Every month since uh, July of nine, mm -hmm. I've seen a new record set. I have not. We haven't reached what uh, statisticians refer to as the asymptote yet, the, where the curve levels off. I'm sure hoping it comes sometime soon. Have you tried marijuana for the problem? Or? We showed our hidden camera investigation to El Paso County District Attorney Dan May. I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? Well, you don't have the certificate yet. He could not believe how fast we were able to get the marijuana. Now, the Constitutional Amendment requires they have to do that within 30 days. If they don't, then you can take the application and the doctor's recommendation and use that to get your marijuana. But because the law is ambiguous, no one is enforcing the required 30-day portion of the amendment. Now, there are some people who very legitimately are in pain, uh, but there's a vast majority that we think are, it's, a, it's a way of abusing the system. May has been a vocal opponent of dispensaries and wants them shut down. Dispensaries are illegal. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to sell marijuana under the law uh, currently 
even to somebody who has a certificate. If dispensaries are illegal, why then are they allowed to stay open? May tells Target 13 it's because the law enforcement is waiting to see what state lawmakers are going to do to revise the law. Now, there are several uh, laws right now being debated at the State House. One would make dispensaries illegal. The other one would make it um, a requirement to be 21 years or older to get medical marijuana. Of course, we will continue to follow this story here on News Channel 13. Reporting live tonight, Tack Land Rock, News Channel 13. And voters legalized medical marijuana in the year 2000 with the approval of Amendment 20. Well, now pot dispensaries are popping up all over our state. Applications are flooding in. Local and county governments are still waiting for direction from state lawmakers on how to regulate the sale of medical marijuana. So far, that hasn't happened. But as TAC just told us, some new rules are in the works. Now remember, we want to know what you think about TAC's investigation into medical marijuana. You've seen the story. Now go to News Channel 